I know Chiggs is in here recording this. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Is Tony the Closer going too hard on DJ Envy? Now, over the last couple months, you guys have seen Tony the Closer expose DJ Envy and Caesar Pena for allegedly running the real estate Ponzi scheme. Tony has not let up. Even when Caesar has been charged, he's still going crazy. Now, you know it's bad when you got somebody like Tax Stone looking at the situation and saying, bro, Tony, I know I did some shit in my past, but bro, you are going a little too hard right now. Chill out. Now you guys all know Tax Stone is locked up in prison and doing his time, but he tweeted out yesterday. He said, yo, why boy so obsessed with DJ Envy going to jail? Like how you wake up in the morning wishing that nigga kids can't see him. That's a different perspective on life. Now immediately Tax Stone was met with a lot of criticism. A fan asked him, bro, didn't you try to literally take Troy Ave from his kids? And then Tony responds back to him. He says, I'm obsessed for many reasons, but let's be clear. F his kids. They ruined many people's lives with fraud and deceit. I'd be real confused on how real ninjas be okay with fuck shit as long as it didn't happen to them. Plus, the bitch ass ninjas sent ninjas to my house. They doxed my girl, stretched her into miscarriage. Ninjas lucky they ain't stretched out. God damn, Tony, that's how you feel? Niggas literally just sent a nigga to jail though. Now, Tony continued. He said, yo, my girl and family got harassed after they got exposed. And niggas try to intimidate and harass me because they got caught scamming. They lucky I ain't went on some snap shit the way they attacked me and my family. The biggest question is how all these real ninjas okay with these clowns stealing from their own people. Funny shit is how many street ninjas in my DM exposing Caesar. But once you're their faces online, like I said, most of these ninjas are spineless. 40 year old gangsters and street ninjas are what's wrong with our culture. So there you guys have it. According to Tony, he's standing on principles and morals. Sounds like this one's personal and he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. Now, I also have to say this. So far, only Caesar Pena has been charged and he was charged with one count of wire fraud. Tell so me what you guys think about Tony the Closer's explanation to Tag Stone. Post comments below. Subscribe to my channel, like this video. I'll see you guys later.